with the shroud and the top cowl on just to kind of have uh, some pictures of that. Um, when setting the secondary uh, pickup or secondary timing, um, what you want to do is uh, there's a couple, well, there's three different ways to go about doing this. One, um, you could try to spin the motor up and put a timing light on it with the test tank, get the RPMs up to what they should be. Uh, in my case, the sticker on the front of the motor shows uh, it should fire at 35 degrees top dead, I mean, before top dead center, uh, wide open throttle, meaning the carburetor uh, butterflies are completely open. So it's wide open throttle. Um, the danger of that is obviously you got to really wind the motor out. And if you, if you're, if you go below it or uh, really mostly if you went beyond 35 degrees, you'd have a possibility of blowing your motor. So the other way, the second way would be to have it out on the lake and the obvious dangers with that is the same thing. And not to mention riding down a lake at 5,200 RPMs with the timing light and a screwdriver trying to adjust the time. The third way is what I've done. And that is that you take a multimeter and you put it on continuity and you attach your red test lead to the red, uh, connection on the switch box and then you put your negative lead to the multimeter to ground and um, you set the motor uh, flywheel to 35 degrees on your uh, advanced timing sticker and uh, or your timing sticker and then being at 35 degrees, you can uh, hold the distributor, pull the distributor to wide open throttle, which is the butterfly's wide open. And uh, by moving that distributor, you'll hear continuity pass through the coil that's in the distributor. And uh, then once you find the location of where that is by you know the the beep from the continuity then you can adjust the advanced timing screw uh, to rest right at where that would fire and that's going to be your advanced timing stop so the timing is going to advance from its primary location to 35 degrees depending on uh, how many rpms the motor is spinning at the time so you'll see that in this video okay you know I got my meter on continuity okay set up like I described earlier I'm gonna set on 40 35 degrees by the timing decal and then you notice over here you got your idle advance screw and then you got your stop throttle and then down here is your spark advance so we need to adjust that so a wide open throttle here beeping so right now if you look down there that screw is just touching just make sure I got our shot good it's just touching that now you can hear it beep so I need to adjust that screw in until it's you know about there right there so 
you can hear it the continuities so if I go farther you know there's nothing so right about there so you just take a screwdriver and run that in so obviously I only have two hands so there's a little hole you know in the front here where you can get a screwdriver in and then you know you get on that on the screw there and just work it in so I think it is about right there You just gotta feel it because it's not enough. It's not enough. Uh, see, I still got quite a bit of play. Seems pretty far in. But that's what it is. That's about right. So now I can lock it down. So if you look, there's the screw, and then right here's this nut. I'm just turning it by hand. And then it's kind of hard to get in, but. So you just gotta get in there, try to get. They didn't make it easy. Where am I down? So yeah, I'm gonna make sure I got my shot. And I'm just gonna, you know, gonna have to be real tight. But you don't want to back out either. So now, dead on so that's that's how you set the secondary now I can't show it because I got the front plate on if you could look through that hole and see the butterfly you would see that they're wide open so So that's wide open throttle, 35 degrees of wide open throttle, you know, 35 degrees. 0.23, if you measured it with the dial indicator, you'll find that number. Um, if you wanted to be just dead on accurate with it, you could find it with that number. But yeah, so now this is your idle stop. So right now I got it in you know pretty far probably do it about halfway and then you know you got that so that it doesn't you know and then throttle stop right now is pretty good because you can't pull it anymore I mean well you could 
that's that's the length of its thing so but we can see up there it's quite a way so I'd say it's fine if we gotta adjust the throttle then you know that's gonna be